What's up guys, it's Matt here at MJ's Garage. Sorry it's been a few days since I made a video and uh, stay tuned for the video to drop on that 2019 Ram 3500. That Raminator is coming, I can't wait. But today I wanna talk to you about my wife's 2019 Jeep Sahara Wrangler JL. I just wanted to get your thoughts on it and what you think you would do. Uh, we got this uh, a while back, and um, we had a white one, had it all done up. Uh, we haven't done anything really to this one, but just tint the windows. Uh, very impressed with this Jeep. This isn't your regular Jeep uh, 3.6 with the V-Star motor in it. Um, this one actually has a lot of the bells and whistles that um, most Jeeps didn't have. And I'm uh, very impressed with it. This one comes with the 2.0 turbo and uh, eight-speed transmission. And I don't know, you know, I, I was, you know, hesitant if I wanted to go with the 2.0 on the on. on on the motor because I just didn't know if I was going to get enough power because you know you you know we got us guys we like to do tires we like to go a little bit bigger uh, we like to change the rims out you know we want our Jeeps level and personally me you know I I'm 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 just up in the air on this one my wife's really not like oh you know I really don't want you to do anything and um, but you know what I usually do is I, I, I never go too far over the edge. Um, just keep it clean because this is a daily driver and my wife, she really enjoys it. But um, yeah, so let's just, you know, you guys have already seen um, a lot of the interior, but uh, I'm, I'm really impressed with what they've done because they've changed a lot of, th of the features out and they even went all the way back on the roll cage, full paint. And they added in the sub to the side instead of the bottom, which was really nice because when you go out to the beach, especially when you live in Florida, you go to the beach, um, you know, the sand and everything gets down in the speaker and you got to do some cleaning. They did add in a bag, uh, bag for your T-tops if you want to take your T-tops when you're riding. Uh, really didn't change much up on the inside, but... Um, some of you might say, well, I thought he, got, I thought he said he had a, uh, a lot of bells and whistles on this one, different upgrades and stuff like that. We didn't go with the leather, and I'm going to tell you why here in a few minutes. But um, it does have the full 8.4 on the, on, on the radio, navigation, push start, um, the full screen, only got 4,600 miles on it. And um, the reason why we didn't go with the leather is because there's a lot of key uh, factors, the reason why we didn't go with the leather, because when you got your top down and you're going to the beach, right, your seats, they're going to get hot if you have leather. And you get back in, you know, you, you want to be cool when you get back in the Jeep. That's why you want, want to ride with the top down. Um, the other thing is if you get sand or if it rains, you know, these seats, they're made, they're made really um, durable, outdoors. The other thing, though, um, and that's one of the reasons why we went with the seats, uh, the cloth seats. We had the cloth seats in the last one. They're a little bit hard to keep clean if you got a spill or something like that. But other than that, they, they I mean, they really jam up really nice. Uh, we did go with the LED package on this one. And um, I'm going to turn them on just so you can see what it looks like. But me personally... This was a no-brainer because, you know, I want to have I want to have nice headlights when I'm going down the road. I want to have nice visibility. I want to be able to see exactly where I'm at, where I'm going, and um, I don't want to have to add in any lights when I go go down the road or or when I go um, to the store or whatever it is at nighttime. I don't want to have any problems with visibility and. You know, they've always added in these features. If you have it running or different, I'm trying to get these uh, lights to pop up. 
But um, when you have it running, they have the daytime run lights. Let me go ahead and crank it up. This is what I'm talking about right here. Got very nice halos, LEDs. The fog lights are also LED. Um, but yeah, she looks really sweet. Really sweet. I'm, I'm really impressed. Let's go ahead and turn this thing off. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's got a little bit of a lift to it, but this is my, this is my thoughts on, on, on this, on what I would like to do with this is I want to do a two-inch lift kit all the way around. And I want to do 37s on 17s. And the reason why is because I just like that more of an off-road dune look. Um, a lot of these bigger wheels on these Jeeps, it just, you know, that's more of a heavy-duty style, bigger vehicle. I don't know. I'm, I'm just not into it. I mean, we had 20s on our last Jeep and it looked good. But, um, yeah, I want to go a different route this time. So... Hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are and what you would do to this Jeep if you had it. Um, you know, we could do a couple little paint things here and there. But, uh, you know, something quick, something easy, something not, ex not too expensive. What kind of upgrades would you do to this 2019 Jeep Sahara Wrangler JL? Uh, I, I, I would love to hear your uh, opinions hit the write write something in the comments subscribe like and share that's how that's how you help me out and i'd help you out um in return so um let me know what you think guys have a great day and uh stay tuned for the next video to come on that 2019 ram 3500 bighorn the Raminator. And also, a little sneak peek of uh, soon to come. That's my other baby right there. And um, if you've seen the Facebook page, you're probably wondering, where's the videos? Where's all the um, posts of that um, ride right there, that auto cycle? Well, anyway. Um, we're going to be going out for a little ride today, so I'm, I'm probably going to make a video of that, but um, I'm going to go check out the Raminator, see what's happening, see what's popping down there at the guys down there at the paint shop. If you've seen some of the posts uh, last night, uh, we've got paint. We've got the paint down. All we do is got to put it together, and then after paint, we go right to the... Uh, off-road shop to get a little bit of exhaust done, get a little tune action, you know. We're fixing to get this Raminator hooked up. So let me know what you guys think. Y'all have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you later.